and we're back all right this should be the last piece of the puzzle for the footboard conversion that we're trying to do here uh, there's no uh they used to put a zip strip on here so you could rip them open easy and i don't see one so we're going to do it this way come on there we go all right let's see what we got here bubble wrap <clears throat> all right very good so i guess you can kind of tell what we got here let me let me zoom in a little bit there we go put you right about there all right very good let's get these out of the way wrap very nicely anyway let's see what we got here Put some tape on them <clears throat> Oh, yeah. Well, that's some good packing tape. I don't know what the heck brand that is, but holy cow. It's uh, very strong, whatever brand it is. <laughs> so, here we go. Number one. There we go. Try to get it so you can see it. They are in... As new condition, as you can see, come up a little closer, see the rubber, there's no wear on the rubber at all. So this is what I needed to complete the install. Um, that, well, I need that and I need time to, to be able to, to tear it apart and do what I gotta do. I gotta get it up on the bike jack because I want it nice and even. Um, and generally like the foot peg or the foot boards, <clears throat> It's held in with uh, that white Loctite that they use. All right. And there is the other one. So, yeah, it's held in with that white Loctite. So I'll have to heat the bolts up first and then unbolt it from there. So, but we come right over here like this. Make sure we got it in the camera here. Let's see. Is that going to work? Yeah, there we go. All right, we'll try it like that. And then this way you can kind of see where they're going to sit so and on the mounts of course they'll be down here but that'll be plenty of room for the floorboards that'll be nice um like i said i'm used to floorboards now these work these are okay but you see how narrow they are compared to an actual footboard so i don't have the biggest feet in the world i'm only a size nine but this isn't quite wide enough or long enough and I find that my my heel is always hanging off the back, so I wanted to add, I want to convert it to an actual set of floorboards is what I'm after. So that's that's what we're going for. Because I mean, as you can see on the street glide, you see how big the boards are there, and that's what we're after. So so again, this is the last piece of the puzzle. So the next order of business is actually going to be the installation coming up. Uh, I got everything together now that's needed to do the job as you've seen in you know like the last two videos and now this one so hopefully <clears throat> we're planning on going to Myrtle Beach I'm going down there to look for a house um, a friend of mine owns a house in North Carolina already so he's going down first week of November so He's going to take his bike, and he said he can make room for the sport glide in his, in his trailer. So we're going to go down, and I'm hoping to have these installed beforehand. So I have them when I'm down here shopping around in Myrtle Beach for the house. So, all right, with that said, that is, again, third and final piece of the puzzle necessary now. And then it's just a matter of getting it up on the bike jack and the time to uh, do the installation. And there will be a full how-to video on that when the time comes. All right, again, thanks for watching. Please don't forget to hit like and subscribe. And above all, make a comment too because YouTube's analytics program is really sucky to say the least. So if you start making comments for me, that'll help boost my videos uh, up in their, their analytic feed. So, all right, thanks again. I'll see you guys in the next video.